If you take a look at Europa, Jupiter's icy moon, you'll see a frozen world, cracked and gleaming, like a shattered glass sphere, drift in the darkness of space. But here's the thing. What makes Europa truly fascinating isn't what we see. It's what lies beneath that frozen shell. Under nearly 20 kilometers of solid ice, there's an ocean, liquid, deep, cold, and maybe alive, not alive with whales or swaying forests of kelp, but alive, in motion. It breathes, it pulses, it sends out signals that we still don't fully understand. Some scientists describe Europa as a kind of primordial Earth, frozen halfway through evolution, and now we're seeing signs that something underneath is pushing back. Dooms rising from flat, icy plains, ridges that twist and snake, like dried veins across a lifeless face. It almost feels like something is trying to break through. Just imagine this for a moment. You're standing on Europa, silence all around, nothing but the stars above. Then suddenly, the ice beneath your boots trembles ever so slightly like a heartbeat from a world below. If that gave you chills, you're exactly where you need to be. This is Astro, where science becomes an adventure. Together, we'll listen to the faint whispers of the cosmos and ask the question, could Europa be alive in a way we've never imagined? Let's imagine a world just a little smaller than our moon, a place hiding a deep, dark secret. Beneath a crust of ice colder than minus 260 degrees Fahrenheit. This is Europa, one of Jupiter's most captivating moons. At first glance, it looks like a giant ball of frozen rock. Its surface is pale, scarred, webbed with cracks that stretch for hundreds of miles. It seems still, silent, almost lifeless. But don't be fooled, that icy shell hides something extraordinary. Because beneath the surface, Europa is alive with motion. And the reason why is something called tidal heating. As Europa orbits the gas giant Jupiter, it's constantly being squeezed and stretched, pulled in different directions by immense gravitational forces. This ongoing tug of war creates friction deep inside the moon and that friction generates heat. Enough heat to melt the ice below, enough to sustain an entire ocean beneath the surface, an ocean that may be deeper than any found on Earth. Scientists believe Europa's ice shell could be up to 12 miles thick, but under that frozen armor lies a vast, salty ocean, and it's kept warm, not by sunlight, but by Jupiter's invisible gravitational grip. It's a strange paradox, frozen on the outside, but simmering within. Some models even suggest something remarkable. If we could somehow drill through the ice, down into that hidden sea, we might find a faint glowing light rising from the seafloor, a glow born from chemical reactions between water, salt, and the rocky surface below. It could be a sign of geothermal activity or something more. A signal, however faint, that something is breathing in the dark. On the surface, Europa appears frozen and still, but below, it's a world boiling with potential. And sometimes, that hidden world tries to break through in ways we're only just beginning to understand. And that brings us to the mystery of frozen cryovolcanus. When we think of volcanoes, we picture blazing mountaintops, rivers of molten rock pouring from deep inside the earth. But on Europa, volcanoes don't roar, they whisper through ice. Here, lava doesn't burn. It doesn't glow red or crackle with fire. Instead, it flows cold, thick and silent. 
This strange phenomenon is called cryovolcanism, icy volcanism, Cree lava, literally cold lava, isn't made of molten rock. It's a slushy mix of water, salt, and sometimes even organic molecules. It's pushed upward from Europa's hidden ocean, rising through cracks in the frozen shell. And when it reaches the surface, in a place colder than minus 260 degrees Fahrenheit, it freezes almost instantly. The result is something eerily beautiful. Smooth, rounded domes of ice, gently swelling across Europa's plains from a distance. They look like soft blisters, but some of them rise hundreds of feet high and stretch for miles in every direction. Geological models suggest something surprising. A single cryolava event could form an entire dome in just a few weeks or months that's far faster than volcanic processes on Earth. And that's speed. Hints at something deeper. Europa's interior might be more active, more alive, than we ever imagined. Not just a quiet ocean buried in the dark, but a dynamic geologic engine. One that's reaching upward, trying to touch the frozen world above. Now picture this. You're standing on Europa, an astronaut alone in a landscape of endless ice. All around you, silence. Pale plains, unbroken stillness. Then, on the distant horizon, you notice something strange. A dome just beginning to rise, slowly, almost imperceptibly. Like a breath from deep below. No explosions, no founds of fire just the faint crackle of shifting ice and a quiet realization. Europa is exhaling. Could this be how a frozen world reveals its inner life? And if there are hundreds of these icy domes scattered across Europa, what are they really? Are they just scars left behind? Or could they be passageways from the ocean below? Let's rewind to the late to the 1990s. NASA's Galileo spacecraft was flying past Europa, capturing thousands of high-resolution images, along with detailed 3D scans of the moon's frozen surface. Among those first snapshots, scientists spotted around 38 mysterious dome-like structures. At the time, they had a theory. Maybe these were cryovolcanoes, slow eruptions of slushy frozen lava. But back then, it was just that, a theory, a fascinating guess, lost in a sea of icy unknowns. Fast forward to today, a new study led by researchers at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center has revisited those old Galileo images. Only this time, they used cutting edge tools, modern image processing, digital modeling, and high-resolution topography. What they found is staggering. The number of confirmed cryolava domes didn't just double, it exploded from 38 to 186. Most of them clustered together in a wild, fractured region called Connemara Chaos, a chaotic landscape that practically screams geological activity. The research team measured everything, diameter, height, surrounding terrain, they built 3D flow simulations to trace how cryolava might have risen, spread and frozen in place. And the results? More surprising than anyone expected. Some domes once thought to take centuries to form might have emerged in just a few weeks or decades. Depending on how thick and salty the cryolava really was, even more surprising was what happened when they recalculated viscosity. Instead of using average values, they used the peak height of each dome, and that changed everything. Turns out, the cryolava might be hundreds of times more viscous than we previously thought. This wasn't some thin, watery slush. It moved slowly, deliberately, more like syrup than seawater, some domes even show signs of branching flows, frozen mid-movement. 
like a lava field paused in time. It's eerily similar to the way basaltic lava spreads on Earth. And now, a stunning possibility is starting to take shape. Europa might not just have icy volcanoes. It might have actual volcanic behavior, powered by a hidden ocean, breathing through cracks in the ice. And if yeah, it's true, we could be looking at something extraordinary. The first real evidence of a living connection between Europa's deep ocean and the surface above. So here's the question we have to ask. If material from that ocean is pushing all the way up, reshaping the ice, could it be bringing something else with it? Could Krylova be carrying the fingerprints of life? The most astonishing thing about Europa's cryolava domes isn't how they form, it's what they might be hiding inside when that slushy mix of salty water and icy mud erupts from Europa's deep ocean and freezes on the surface. It doesn't just leave behind rounded mounds of ice. It may also leave behind something else, something hidden, hollow spaces, chambers, natural caves trapped just beneath the surface. The space is insulated by warmth from the ocean below and protected from deadly radiation by miles of solid ice above. That's why some scientists believe these domes could be more than just geological features. They could be subsurface habitats, potential shelters for life beneath the ice. No sunlight, no atmosphere, but still, there's water, there's heat, and most importantly, here's stability. And here's the thing, we've already seen life survive in even harsher condition right here on Earth, in the deepest parts of our oceans, where sunlight never reaches and pressures are crushing. Life still finds a way around hydrothermal vents, where scalding heat meets cold seawater Life doesn't just exist, it thrives. Bacteria, chickworms, even soft-bodied creatures, all living off chemical energy. No light, no photosynthesis, just rock water and time. Now imagine something like that, sealed inside one of Europa's frozen domes. Could such a place become the first cradle of alien life? Maybe it already has. Maybe right now, as you're hearing these words, a tiny organism is swimming slowly through warm, briny water in a quiet cave born from a cryolava eruption that happened thousands of years ago. And if life can bloom in that kind of darkness, what else might be possible? Are we seeing Europa for what it truly is or only through the limits of our own imagination? Maybe the only thing we're missing is an eye that can truly see through the ice. And that's exactly why the Europa Clipper mission exists. Set to launch in 2025, Europa Clipper is one of NASA's boldest undertakings. Not to explore Mars, not to land on an asteroid, but to investigate a world beneath the ice. Unlike the Perseverance rover, which rolls across Martian soil, Clipper won't land. Instead, it will orbit Jupiter and sweep past Europa again and again, from different angles, at different times, almost like it's listening for every breath this frozen moon takes. It's equipped with over nine advanced scientific instruments, ice-penetrating radar, infrared spectrometers, magnetometers, high-resolution cameras, Clipper will measure the thickness of Europa's shell. It'll search for pockets of liquid water hidden beneath the surface. And most exciting of all, it will map cryolava domes with detail we've never seen before. If those domes truly are gateways to the ocean below, then Clipper is the key, and it's ready to unlock the mystery. Scientists hope the mission will find something extraordinary zones of high biological potential. 
places where Europa's subsurface ocean might be interacting with the ice above. Clipper may even detect organic molecules or chemical signatures, quietly rising in plumes of vapor carried from the deep ocean into the vacuum of space. Now imagine this. One day, Clipper glides past an active cryolava dome. Its sensors spike, the screen flickers, and there, just for a moment, a strange formation. Maybe it's a hollow chamber, maybe it's just ice, or maybe it's something more, something that doesn't quite fit within the language of geology. So here's the final question. If Clipper does detect signs of life, even the faintest whisper, then Europa will no longer be just one of Jupiter's moons. It will become something far greater. The first place where humanity reaches out and touches a living world beyond Earth. On the surface, Europa seems frozen in time, a silent, lifeless world locked in the dark of deep space. Its brutal cold, its cracked icy shell, paint the picture of a place long dead. But sometimes, stillness hides something extraordinary. Those domes of cryolava, the long fractures, the frozen flows, they might not be scars. They might be something more. The quiet breath of a hidden ocean below. An ocean that could stretch 100 kilometers deep, holding more water than all of Earth's oceans combined. And where there's water and energy, the question of life is never far behind. So is Europa alive? Not in the way we usually think of life. Not with forests or animals or atmosphere, but maybe in its own way. Maybe beneath that ice, there's a fragile ecosystem, microbial colonies, glowing faintly around hydrothermal vents, a world that doesn't need light or air, just warmth and time. We don't know for sure, not yet, but the strange thing is, Europa almost feels like it's waiting, waiting for us to listen. Because if a place like Europa, cold, quiet, and unimaginably distant, can still find a way to support life, then how many other worlds out there might be alive in ways we've never dared to imagine? What do you think? Could these cryo-lava domes be the first doors to discovering alien life? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this journey, if you want more deep, thoughtful dives into the cosmos, consider subscribing to Astro. Together, we'll keep exploring the universe, one layer deeper at a time.